The world we live in is crazy right now. We got so many different applications on the market. We got so many different AI apps that are coming out left, right, center. And we got the two juggernauts of the industry, Microsoft and Google, fighting it out over the generative AI workspace. Was that a generative? Generational talent. I mean, if you look at this and don't think it's cool, I mean, what are, what are we doing here? I mean, check out what you're gonna be able to do with Copilot. I mean, this is ridiculous. What are we, I don't, what? I mean, it's gonna make a presentation. <laughs> what are we doing here? Is this 2023? Is this what we gotta compete against? I mean, how are we going to decide whether we wanna use Microsoft or Google? This is the way that competition usually helps the consumer. I mean, hey, 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 hey. There are so many different ways that you're probably thinking to yourself, where can we look for generative AI to be the best option for me? And I wanted to break down a couple of the key differences that exist in this constant battle that's gonna come up, especially in the next few months and possibly the next few years on what I should use if I was somebody jumping into a business or currently having a business. What is the better choice for my needs? I'm gonna point out the two different statements that Microsoft and Google made about what necessarily their goal is regarding these suite of tools for their companies because it does matter the kind of verbiage they use. Google's goal, in their own words, was to harness the power of generative AI to create, connect, and collaborate like never before. And Microsoft's terminology was essentially focus on things that matter instead of spending too much time consumed by the drudgery of work that zap our time, creativity, and energy. And this is a key point here that I noticed between Copilot and then what Google is doing. Copilot from Microsoft's end is taking the tools like ChatGPT and integrating it directly into the suite to essentially save you time. You see it in this video, you see it in the way people are responding to things, and you see the kind of response that it got. It's just crazy. Everyone wants a link. They want to see how they can use this. Whereas Google seems to be wanting to essentially add separate AI features into their workspace that kind of work together to boost productivity. And then Microsoft's situations, they just have like a specific tool, Copilot, that they're going to roll out to everything. The kind of places you're going to be able to find the AI assistants are going to be very similar in the sense that you're going to see it for Docs and Word. You can see it for Slides and PowerPoint, Sheets, and Excel, Gmail, and Outlook. We're just gonna see a different way that they both go about it. I know a lot of people are working under the assumption that Google's gonna like roll out whatever BARD is into everything, but it doesn't seem like that's necessarily the case as much as Microsoft's plan is to just put Copilot into everything. And then there was one thing that I noticed in an article that was interesting about, you know, what's maybe gonna have the edge in the different types of things it's creating right now. And I noticed that Microsoft and Google are different in some of the application vibes that they're putting out. Google seems to be more of a creative aspect where, for example, you can see that they have Google Imagine and they have a generative AI edge in the image space, whereas Microsoft seems to have it in the productivity space. So while you're gonna have something like Imagine and the different ways that generative AI are going to maybe integrate with different tools together and be a more collaborative environment, Microsoft Copilot can take a Word document and turn it into a PowerPoint. That's workspace productivity if I've ever seen it. However, obviously with the generative images that you're gonna get from Google, you can implement that into a Google Slides presentation. Google's also claiming that they're going to be able to use the technology they have for generative AI to produce generated audio and video. I mean, the claims that these guys are making is just outstanding for the consumer. And I just wanted to point out some different things that maybe you hadn't heard, like the image generative AI from Google, or the fact that Microsoft seems to plan to have Copilot so cohesive that you're gonna be able to take a Word doc and turn it into a PowerPoint presentation. This is the kind of stuff that we cannot get enough of at Rise Productive, and I personally am probably gonna get a Microsoft plan on top of my Google Workspace plan just to test this stuff out because I want you guys to see exactly what it can do when it comes out. They claim it's gonna be rolling out over the next couple months. It is going to be an AI arms race, just like you know, it's an arms race to see if you can click on this video and not improve your productivity even more.